Hello, gentles and lady men. I'm Ulan Gaming, and today I give you the Portugal Civilization Overview, the second to last civilization before we have done an overview for every single civilization in the game, the last one being Ethiopia. So let's get into it. First, we have the Portugal flag, which looks like a box of McDonald's french fries. Moving on. Their unique mechanic, they have three noteworthy ones, even though one is a card rather than a unique mechanic, it's one that's unique to, get to them and intrinsic to their gameplay ever since the card came out, until recently when it got nerfed. Uh, their primary unique mechanic that everybody knows them for is that every time they age up, they get a new TC wagon. Uh, so this is useful for establishing forward bases. They're one of only two civs, I think, the other one being Inca, uh, that can get an age two town center off of their own accord without needing some kind of team card or, or bizarre treasure. Uh, I think Portugal and Inca are the only two civilizations that can achieve a second age two town center. Uh, they start with extra fast food gathering, to my knowledge. They start with, uh, I think, zero point... Nine food per second as their base as, instead of 0 0.83 like every other civilization, or is it 8-7? Uh, they start with extra food gathering. Uh, and then they also have the card Fatorius. Now, Fatorius is a bit of an interesting card. Fatorius is a card that was introduced uh, a couple major patches ago and makes it so that Portugal gets a trickle of every resource per TC that they have available to them. Uh, previously, this card was kind of broken, and then they nerfed it into the ground to the point where it's kind of useless, and now with the March update, there, it's going to be put into what appears to be a middle ground to where people are probably going to be taking Fatorius again if they weren't already, uh, but it's not going to be as hilariously overpowered as it used to be. Uh, so, you do need to keep in mind that when you're fighting a Portugal player, you want to take a look at their deck, see if they have Fatorius in it, and then you need to make sure you do everything you can to keep the number of town centers on the field down, because those town centers, in particular, will be providing a lot of XP trickle in addition to their resources. The general playstyle of Portugal is not to stay in age 2 for an extensive amount of time. They generally like to either uh, to, to play economically. They like to fast fortress, they can get 3 TCs. Uh, they like to chill out and boom and do all the things. So generally when you fight Portugal, you're likely not going to be dealing with rushes. Uh, now, for their Ajax system, they do have normal politicians because they are a European civilization, and uh, they, because of that they also have the normal explorer. Uh, now, they have only two unique units, one of the lesser amounts of unique units that we've seen so far, and that is the Casador and the Organ Gun. Now, the Casador is our red blocked unit because it is one of Portugal's best units and what you need to watch out for the most. The Casador replaces the standard skirmisher. And the Casador is a very dangerous unit. It will beat pretty much any other skirmisher or ranged infantry in the game in shootout fights. The Casadors have 45% range resistance, very high range as all skirmishers do, and very importantly, they also start with a base of 4.5 speed instead of 4 or 4.25, making them more or less one of the fastest standard skirmishers in the game. And this, of course, means they get even more benefit out of if you send uh, the military drummer's card. These guys are speedy boys, and they will wreak havoc over pretty much any infantry force in the game, be it skirmishers or musketeers. However, this comes at the downside that because they have all of their resistance in range resistance and then are particularly flimsy in the HP departments, this is one of the weakest skirmishers to cavalry, and you can very easily find yourself killing eight or even nine Cassadors with just a singular Hussar. Uh, so it is a bit of a glass cannon unit. It will do its job wonders against the units that it's supposed to do its job to, and it will fall harder than normal skirmishers do against other cavalry. So you need to be very, very careful with your Cassadors. But that is, of course, what Portugal's other big unit is, the Dragoon. Uh, you want to pair Cassadors with Dragoons or other anti-cav, which Portugal has really, really good ones for. Uh, the Organ Gun is like a shittier version of the Gatling Gun. Uh, it doesn't... It has more range, and it has slightly more damage, uh, but it costs 50 gold more apiece, and it's not really worth it. 
Uh, the advan big advantage to the USA Gatling guns is that they are extremely cheap and very easy to mass, and the 50 coin per unit doesn't seem like it would make a difference, but it really, really does. That's an extra 250 coin per batch of five for a... Uh, for, for, for um, organ guns. Now, organ guns fire successive shots just like Gatling guns do. However, they're not quite go as good as uh, at retargeting and hitting fresh units as the Gatling guns are when they take units out. So you generally don't get quite as much from each volley. Now, as for primary unit compositions for Portugal, there are two primary ones that you're going to see the most of, and that's because Portugal spends most of its time in age three. Now, the two you're going to see the most of are the Castor and Dragoon combo, uh, due to uh, Portugal having high range Dragoons and Royal Guard Dragoons, and some just Dragoon combat cards, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you're also going to see Castor Musketeer quite a bit, and this is because all of the combat cards that affect Castors also affect Musketeers, so they can effectively have an all-infantry combo that deals with both infantry and cavalry. Uh, you'll see Expo Musketeer if you're in Age 2, in all likelihood, uh, and if the game goes long and your Portugal player decides to just meme around and revolt to Brazil, you're going to get billions and billions of revolutionary Depatria. They're just going to monocomp that shit. All right, so a couple things to watch out for. Uh, the first one that I just mentioned is the Brazilian Revolt. When when Portugal is in age four, uh, you need to be very careful because if your opponent is being particularly mean, he can just re revolt to Brazil and have like 300 units in your base in a matter of seconds. It is no joke, and revolutionary Depatria's are definitely one of the scariest things in the game. In addition, this also gives Portugal access to the only shipment they will need for the rest of the game, being an infinite sends to Town Center Wagon, which will infinitely scale Fatorius up and constantly produce revolutionary Depatria for free. Uh, so the Brazil Revolt is something of a meme, but it is also an extremely efficient endgame Brazil build if you want to go that route. Uh, they also have extremely long-range mortars. Not many Portugal players take advantage of this, but they do have a card that adds 8 range to mortars, which uh, boosts them from, I think, 42 to 50 range. So they get uh, a pretty stupid when, uh, when when you get to the end game, and this is probably going to be all the more popular when the next March update comes out and mortars are able to target normal units. I think we'll start seeing 50 range Portugal mortars a lot more often. Uh, and then the extra TCs from Portugal, you know, it's, it's their primary mechanic, everybody knows it exists, but you need to do a very good job of scouting. I always like to be right under a Portugal player's base when they age up so I can see where the wagon goes. You want to know whether or not your opponent is the type of player who places a town center wagon over in some fresh resources, over in your face to set up a forward base uh, extremely aggressively, or the type of Portugal player who leans back and chills in their own base and builds up walls and puts all three cc's next to each other it's really up in the air what kind of portugal player you're going to get but you need to know which type it is so always be on the lookout for extra town centers it's particularly important to scout with portugal so that you don't miss a tc placement and yeah that is about it thank you guys for watching have a great day and goodbye